how many of how many of y'all have been in situations where if your bitch could have killed you, she would have? Like in situations where your bitch was so fucking mad at you that whatever she could do, she would do that shit to fuck you up. Not even taking into account the repercussions of the actions that she's currently fucking making. You have to understand whenever you are alone. With no cameras, with nobody else, or even with motherfuckers. You see how this nigga got dead in the club. You have to understand the power that you're giving them. At that very fucking moment, it's her word against yours. These bitches have been on with new fucking weaponry. At any point in time, a bitch can say whatever and it will be believed to the umpteenth fucking degree. They won't ask a question. They're coming for you. You proved this shit wrong. Not, <laughs> they're not going to prove you're guilty. You're going to have to prove your innocence. Hey, look here, man. I'm Ayo Kaseko, fearless leader. Of the I want to, hey, get that boy who was implicating in this shit, man. Get him my contact information. Tell that boy to hit me up, man. Uh, we ain't finna keep going for this shit, dog. Uh, as the founder of the Men Too movement, uh, we not going. Not in 2019. We, we ain't doing this shit no more. This the end. This the end. Look here, dog. I've been told, I've been told y'all, I've been told y'all, hold off on, on fucking holes, but just hold off on, you know what I'm saying? Until we get everything put where it need to be at, until we get something put in place to where if you claim somebody raped you, let me, if the bitch claims somebody raped or whatever like that, if, it's found out that she's fucking lying. The bitch got to do 20 years. You know what's so fucked up about that shit is? The only reason some of these bitches come out at, in the end and say that they were lying is because nothing's going to happen to them. That's the only reason some niggas are, are allowed out of these horrible fucking sentences that they have. Because the bitch come and say that she was lying. I don't have to go into, ah, uh, yeah, rapes do happen in real. I don't have to go into that. We, we understand all that shit. We're not talking about that shit. It's the Big Fast Podcast. I'm A.O. Conseco, Phyllis Leader of A.O. Nation, and this is Are You Fucking Serious? Um, We got we got some shit in the club uh, where a nigga get um, a bitch come, she, she vibing through the club, whole pose to be married. And shit like that. Just a nothing ass bitch. No more can a bitch come to the club with a, a, a pull away dress on with no panties on and claim she got raped. No fucking more. If you came to the club with no fucking panties on, you came. I ain't got no panties on. Ain't got no panties on. I ain't got no panties on on the dance floor. <laughs> Nigga gotta watch uh, Cut to know about that shit, man. Uh, as soon as you start shooting, bitches wanna start calling this shit. That shit is retarded. Look, January 22nd, 6 p.m., I'll be going live for the first time on Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, get over there. I said I was gonna do it this year, so we doing this shit. Um, I'm speaking to AO Nation. Y'all know what the fuck going on. Um, the AO Nation donation conversation. We have that every other Sunday. I shout y'all out when y'all donate and shit like that. But we doing more at this fucking point in time. Because y'all know YouTube don't pay shit. You know what I'm saying? NBA 2K and stole my goddamn shirts and shit like that. You can see that shit on YouTube. Uh, with the shirts, y'all know the shirts. Uh, any shirt you want, any head where you want. The shirts are going for... Um, 15 all shirts all and all the headwear is going for 10 for the month of january and shit like that 
but we speaking on the 22nd. Any question y'all got, scream at me. Also, listen, listen to this goddamn music that y'all hear in the background. It's not just music I find online. It's real artists with real fucking projects that are, you know what I'm saying, trying to promote themselves. Listen to that shit. Get down in the comment section. Let it be known how the fuck you feel. Most of the time, they'll be in the comment section so you can tell them personally what the fuck they need to do or how you like their music and shit like that. If you're an artist that's trying to get some real exposure with real people, not that Instagram sponsor bullshit, hit me up. But don't hit me up until you're ready to make a transaction. Prices start at $200, we're up to $2,000, depending on what you want to do, whatever like that. But do not hit me up until you're ready to go to work. I'm not... I don't, I, I don't have no time to play. I'm trying to sue these fucking folks. Get back to the video. I'll see y'all in a minute. Love. You can't get raped with no panties on. I think that should be part of the law. If you anywhere with no panties on, whatever happened, you wanted that shit to happen. That's that's your life, bitch. You're a prostitute, obviously. Bitch. And, and like, man, you know, I, no, you, I'm not the right one to talk about this shit, dog. I'm not the right one to talk about this shit, my nigga, because I'm trying to tell you, dog. I swear to God, man, like, the word is that this hoe was all on the floor, uh, fucking around, having fun, nigga to nigga, asking for drink to drink, hope hoes to be married, whatever, I don't know what the fuck, this is nothing ass bitch, you can look at the whole, look at her face, you know what I'm saying, this, the, the, the same slave ass fucking makeup on, slave ass weave and shit like that, this is nothing ass bitch, a tattoo all up, you know what I'm saying, this is nothing ass hoe. Some hoes are incapable of getting raped. Let's, we, why are we talking about rape? Why, after, after this shit took place, the whole went on stage and danced. Tell this nigga, whoever this nigga is that's getting implicated in this shit, tell that man to hit me up, man. So we can go ahead and handle this shit because what, what's been to happen, dog, at some fucking point, dog, at some fucking point, we... You asking for, you know what I'm saying, some bullshit to take place. You asking for it. We obviously know that the bitch said that she didn't get raped. After the whole, after all, like the whole stay in the club, like, so the whole got drugged. First of all, this hoe is married and she came to the club with no panties on. You don't think this hoe know about getting drugged? That bitch probably seen that shit in the club said, thank you. And the fuck, that hoe ain't had to spend $5 on no damn Xanax. That nigga showed that whole love. And I, I said this too, dog. Dog, if this shit continues, Rick Ross is going to be in trouble. I'm trying to tell you now. I'm trying to tell you now. Listen what I'm telling you now. Rick Ross going to be in trouble. I'm going to leave it just like that. The fuck? Bitch, why the fuck am I in control? The fuck? This is nothing ass bitch. How the fuck you? That whole probably nigga, you hand that whole regular drink with no drugs in that motherfucker. That whole probably get mad. What the fuck this here? What kind of cheap ass nigga is you? Nothing. Patron. Patron. Know what I'm saying? The fuck? This is obviously a nothing ass bitch. And I'm tired of this shit, dog. Like it's right now at this point. I'm gonna tell y'all about this shit in a minute. Like my, my, like we. This this is some close shit, dog. These hoes, dog, hoes with no panties not finna keep going, getting the call raped, dog. I swear to God. Bitch, you in the club, you drug like a motherfucker, but you can't get raped from the back. You can't get raped from the back. You trying to fight a nigga off? Your homegirl is right here? Your homegirl is patting you on the back as you dancing on this nigga? How many times in the club? And that's what I'm trying to tell you niggas. Stop playing with these nothing ass hoes. That whole no, she ain't got raped. But because she got oh, she got so fucked up that she ain't know that everybody looking at. I don't know if the whole wanted to get fucked. I don't know if the whole did get fucked. I don't know if the whole did get fucked. I didn't see no. I ain't see shit about nothing. I seen a drunk bitch screaming like drunk hoes do. Ah, ah, ah. That's what hoes do. My mistake. That's what drunk hoes do. They scream. Ah. That's why I'm telling you niggas, stop playing with these hoes because at any fucking second, these hoes can switch on you. You think it's all love, dog? But we're going to get on the niggas in a minute. But as far as the hoes, dog, if you understood how easy it is to prove rape and how hard it is to disprove it, 
You wouldn't fuck with no hoe. I'm telling you, my nigga, a bitch right now can say two years ago you raped her and you would have a rape first charge. Whatever she says happened, actually will be in a report and you will have to bond out on that charge if you can. You will be going straight to fucking court. No, no quit. Trust me, my nigga, right now. Fuck a bitch. She called rape. It's over. If you knew how much you were going to have to go through to disprove this bitch's story, my nigga, if he say, he say, she say, your defense is going to have to fuck up her character. But if she gets all that shit together before she actually says it, you're done. Your life is ruined. I ask you, dog, how many of how many of how many of y'all have been in situations where if your bitch could have killed you, she would have. Like in a situation where your bitch was so fucking mad at you that whatever she could do, she would do that shit to fuck you up. Not even taking into account the repercussions of the actions that she's currently fucking making. You have to understand, whenever you are alone, with no cameras, with nobody else, or even with motherfuckers, you see how this nigga I did in the club. You have to understand the power that you're giving them. At that very fucking moment, it's her word against yours. These bitches have been on with new fucking weaponry. At any point in time, a bitch can say whatever and it will be believed to the umpteenth fucking degree. They won't ask a question. They're coming for you. You proved this shit wrong. Not, <laughs> they're not going to prove you're guilty. You're going to have to prove your innocence. Which is a lot harder because we're all flawed and no one's perfect. You can reach into anybody's life and say, yeah, he's a horrible person. So what I told you niggas is hold off on these hoes until we in the Men Too movement can align certain things, try to get certain laws changed to where you're not just totally at a bitch's, dis like, it's, it's at her discretion when she wants to fuck your life up. This bitch right here, after getting fucking sexually assaulted, not 10 minutes later, on the stage doing a twerk contest. Screaming, hollering for the nigga who on the stage. Party, party, party. It wasn't until she checked her shit. Oh, everybody's saying I got raped. Oh, uh, I'm so hard. Oh, my goodness, I can't believe. Oh, I had no idea. I'm just, oh, my God. Because these bitches just, you, because you can't just let it be. Like, you can't be a real motherfucker and be like, shit, what the fuck y'all talking about? Shit, I, I like that shit. Oh, I, I like to get, you know what I'm saying? It's how I like to rock. Bitch, I ain't had no bra or no panties on, bitch. I'm rocking. Fuck you hoes. How many do you, how many, I'm going to talk to the niggas. How many hoes have you fucked at the club, dog? Ain't that where you go to find nothing ass bitches? The fuck? Ain't that where you go to find nothing ass hoes? The niggas go to the club to find wife? Is not having panties on a, 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 a uh, um, irregular, uh, um, irregularity, irregularity at the club? No panties? Is that, uh, 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 unusual? Fuck no. Bitch. Bitch don't wear no drawers because they don't want their panel line to show. The fuck? Yeah, bitch, I, that hoes in that bitch breathing. And then, and like, and the, the worst part about it all is that, once again, as black men, <laughs> Show me where the white man fucked us over. You know what I'm saying? Where did the white people fuck us over in this situation? Lifetime offered black folks a check. And they didn't mind handing over a black man. We didn't have to take it. Time and time again. 
We're showing. We're showing. We're being shown. My mistake. Who the the right hand of white supremacy is. White supremacy can't even can't just come straight in and, and grab us. They need one of our own to hand us over. When I tell y'all about the three S's, oh man, I, I got two of them. I got one of them. You're not understanding. You know what I'm saying? How fucked up it is. This nigga right here might watch the show. He might be an avid watcher of the show and just think that, nah, man, you know, nah, I can, no, I can do the sobriety shit. I can do the solitude shit. I don't really fuck with niggas, but I'm, I'm gonna fuck me some hoes. You think I just made these? You made I, I made this up for no fucking reason, dog. The Me Too movement. It doesn't discriminate, but it does discriminate. It does discriminate in the fact that they only want black men, but it doesn't discriminate on what black man. It could be a nobody ass black man or Denzel Washington. We don't give a fuck. As long as it's a black man, we're going to destroy him. This happened at a nothing ass club in Atlanta. Because a motherfucker had a phone and social media. Uh, fishers, fishermen have like a whole, like they got a, like a net they throw out into the goddamn sea, whatever like that. Throw it out there in the sea and they, and they pull that shit up. That's what social media is. The internet is the ocean of information. Social media is that fucking fish net. And they just pull whatever they can out. Social media is what's destroying us as a black community. This is what's destroying us. If them hoes wouldn't have said shit, this whole one said shit. It's it's been reported that this whole told her homegirl Jay Bull that she didn't get raped. Why the fuck she? How did how what, what investigation? But when it comes down to and who in the fuck once again did she check all the accounts that told her hey you just got raped hey does anyone remember the first motherfucking account that said that? No. It was just somebody. Somebody started it, and they know that everyone is just sheep, just followers. All you got to do is throw the ideal out there and back the fuck up and watch what happens. Hey, she's getting raped. And hide back in your fucking hole. It's not safe outside. It's what I'm trying to tell y'all. It's not safe outside. Get this boy to hit me up. We're going to try to get something done. Uh, putting in some type of petition. Because it's not just that these hoes need to have something else over their head if they lying. It's the fact that you, you need to have to come with more proof. You need to have to come with more proof. I just don't trust a jury of 12 fucking Americans. I just don't. My life shouldn't be in their hands. It shouldn't be in their fucking hands. I didn't rape this motherfucker. But you gotta prove it. Why shouldn't this hoe have to prove that I did rape her? Oh, well, she said it. Yeah, she said it happened two years ago. While we were dating. Obviously, this hoe is mad. Look where I'm at in life and look where she is. How are you empowering all these nothing ass hoes? After we know, like, hell has no fury like a woman. We know what the fuck is going on. Which has to make you think that this is just a fucking crab trap for us. For us. So once again, I tell y'all, until we get something to happen in our favor... On this rape shit, on this Me Too bullshit they got going on, I'm telling you, 
celibacy is your only for not only celibacy. If you're anywhere, treat these hoes like fucking police officers. And the time they come around, you need to be recording. Yo, what's going on? What's going on? And that's just a precaution. I bet this nigga wish he did. I bet this nigga, it's a lot of cases that y'all ha- are not hearing about. Where niggas are having a fight for their life because a bitch said something and a nigga was just high and drunk. Like, because it's an everyday just fucking a bitch. But this bitch was on the bullshit. And now you got your whole life in front of you having to be a fucking sex offender and register everywhere you go. So what's worse? Having to watch Pornhub until we can get this shit together? Or having to use your memory to beat your meat in jail for the next 15 to 20 years because niggas don't get sentenced like these pedophiles. These white old men that are fucking these little kids is getting two months at a crazy house and coming home. But as niggas who are quote unquote raping these bitches with no panties, we getting 20 and 30 years. Keep playing, nigga. Big Facts Podcast. Tell that goddamn boy to holler at me. Love. And hit the PayPal.